that I had to release a vampire's soul? She said it was the final step to rid you of Dracula's influence. Your mother assured me it would be safe. Don't worry. Yes, don't worry. I will take care of you. that you can keep me away with that tiny irritant. Listen to me, Mary. Your very soul depends on your doing exactly what I say. No. No! You're not going to kill me. Do you understand? You're just going to free me from Dracula's curse. Dracula's estate and find his journal. It's hidden somewhere in a secret compartment near his study. You'll find the locations of his coffins. Destroy them. You're asking me to kill you. I'm already dead. Give me the peace of Crane. It won't be long before he's in here and he is. endured day after day i've watched myself killing like a crazed derelict i hate it and i can't stop myself i don't want to lose you again it's an act of 
Counting on your protection. We won't fail you. It is time to move on. You must take care of my other coffins and of my native soil. I want you to pack up my papers. They are in the vault. What will you need for travel? Assemble a set of documents bearing the name Matthew Dmitriev. You will be transporting your recently deceased cousin Matthew by charter flight over the polar route. You know the time requirements. Sleep well, Dracula. When you reawaken, all will be ready for you. Dream of me. It's just got to be here. Well, keep looking. I'll check some of the other rooms.
Barry, I think I found something. You don't even know which coffin he's in. Well, they'll all have to be destroyed. When night comes, he'll probably move on. We've got to get him while it's still daylight. We'll start with the coffin downstairs. process you did. We can come back for her later.
Eventually I grew resigned to my destiny. The most potent addiction is the addiction to life. To be alive. However lonely it may be. John Burnside, Fort Kearney, Wyoming. Outlaws plan raid on gold shipment. Destination, Federal Treasury, Denver. Send detachment of troops immediately. Signed, Jim Donner, U.S. Marshal. That's going to cost you 35 cents. Oh. Well, hop to it. <sighs> Gee, Lily, it'll probably take three days for the troops to get here. Even if Captain Burnside gets his message tomorrow, he won't. That man didn't send it. The sounder didn't come on. That means the signal wasn't getting through. <sighs> Looks like everybody wants Keller's reward. We better tell somebody. No. No, we don't know who Keller's gotten to. We can't trust anybody in Cheyenne. We'll just have to do something by ourselves. Darn it, Jim! Come with me, Demeter. Over here. You all right? What can we do, Father? There are only three of us. Well, now there's four of us. Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! How are you doing, Dad? Have escaped. No, no. If they had escaped, we would have been warned. But you were right. We will need them if we are to destroy the Compliatron. 
Then we gotta find Ro and his friends. They'll be of little use. Thorvald will already have Compliatron them. Is there a reversal unit still kept in the laboratory control wing? Yes, I believe so. Father is speaking of a unit that reverses the effect of the Compliatron ray. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Then just tell me where to find it. He cannot be dressed like that. There are many guards. He would easily be recognized and surely taken. What do they wear? White sterile suits. Oh, and masks. We must find a, a communications terminal. Then we can wire into the system. And we can send an order into the control room to open the vault. And then we can set off an emergency dispersion alert. What'll that do? All the guards will have to report to the emergency centers. And that is how you will get away. Well, wait a minute. How am I going to know what one of these reversal units looks like? Easily, Donna Jim. It is not large, and it is kept in a case which carries the Emperor's insignia. Like I said before, boys, don't worry about a thing. It's going to be smooth sailing all the way. Oh. <laughs> you just keep your eyes peeled, Rafferty. Let me know when we get to Fort Johnson. Hey, boys. See that game on the Visalink? One of the worst quartz bar games I have ever seen. That official should be sent to the compression tube. You mean that play at the second stalagmite? It was a fair tie. You must be joking. I saw it. The shadow tripped that writer. It was a foul. The official was on the spot. Yeah, he sees as well as the bats of Shamira. Princess. Are you almost finished? Another moment. You are behind schedule, Supervisor. Just slightly, Your Highness. Just slightly is too much. The gold we need is available now. We wait only for your workers to complete their tasks. We shall finish immediately, Your Highness. Attention, paratronic depots. Attention, paratronic depots. An accident has occurred at plant Z529 East Sector. Mobilize all mana synthesizers at once. Repeat, plant Z529 East Sector. Mana synthesizers needed immediately. This 
worked in my chambers. But Princess, a schedule. No one. Where's the Princess Tara? Remove your tunic, Donna Jim. Well, you got my name. What's yours? Do you not know me? Look closely, Donna Jim. Am I not familiar? No, ma'am. I know the room, but I can't place the face. This face? Is it not more alluring than Maya's? Well, you're pretty as a speckled heifer, all right, but... I wanted you to be attracted to me, so I underwent a transformation. The silver door. They can change anyone completely there. Dress, face, hair. Oh, you're Princess Tara. Uh, I wondered how long it would take you to recognize me. And I did all of this. All for you. Well. I sure am happy you did this for me. Well, I'm certainly glad you appreciate it. Stand back. Sir, the princess left strict orders. No one is to enter. It's the princess alone. I really am more beautiful than Maya. Am I not? No, ma'am. I said you were pretty, but it's what's inside that counts. Guards!
Susan Williams' search for the truth behind her brother's death has led to a race against time near Camp David. Along with Jack Schongarth and physicist Nikolai Tushinsky, Susan rushes to stop a nuclear device from killing world leaders as they convene at the president's retreat. Mineshaft? Yeah. Yeah, seven must be a shaft number. Of course. They've put the bomb under Camp David. parking zone. evacuation of the Camp David area in Maryland continues. Unknown terrorists have threatened to blow up Camp David, where leaders of major world nations have convened to discuss world peace. If the terrorist demand is not met, we are told that they intend to detonate a nuclear device already hidden in the vicinity of the Maryland retreat. The White House has revealed that there is an imminent threat in the Camp David area at this time. Authorities urge that evacuations be conducted in an orderly and safe manner. Mr. Korf. Official sources report that... It would appear, gentlemen, that we're being taken seriously. At long last. After today, Mr. Shigley, a noble revolutionary such as yourself will no longer have to live in concealment. Incidentally, sir, I thought you might want to know. Susan Williams and her friends have been taken care of. The helicopter. Excellent. And the preparations at Cloverleaf 7. The device is in place, and the plan is completely go for 2.30. The timing trigger checks out. Perfectly. I thought you might want to set the timer yourself, sir. Very fitting. Thank you, Eddie. That's very considerate. Wonderful. It has started. Mr. Shiglila. The sign the... says, yeah. Well, it's a good thing we had the right shaft number. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't know the right one from a hole in the ground. What kind of talk is that? Who you been hanging around oh, with? Oh, Come on, let's get out of here. It'd be nice if he slowed down. Susan, Susan! It's you! Bob, you scared us to death. Well, how do you think I felt when I saw what was left of your car back there? You promised us some help at the airport. I don't hear no bugles. Well, I called the Defense Department. Bobby, they planted a nuclear device under Camp David. Now, Cloverleaf 7 is the mine shaft. You've got to call again. I'm on my way. Okay. We ain't at that time to wait. We must get to the bomb. Let's go. Supervised by local police and sheriff's departments, the traffic flow continues to mount on all major roads leading out of the Camp David area. Highway 70 and Interstate 410 are already jammed. Drivers are urged to take alternate routes away from the vicinity. Sir, the 
nuclear device could be anywhere in here. We're combing the whole area. The northern section is full of mine shafts. Yes, sir. We've been searching through those, too, but uh, there's too many, and time's running out. I keep hoping this is just a bluff. General, what if it's not? Call out more troops. Tap into every service branch within 100 miles. Beef up air recon. Is the bomb disposal team ready? Standing by at Dulles. The Atomic Energy Commission sent out the whole team. They're already loaded on the choppers. Where do I send them? Traffic has come to a standstill on roads leading out of the Camp David vicinity. The Air Force is aiding the effort to evacuate the area by providing transport planes and personnel. Yes, that's fine. Thank you very much. That was Matus, our contact at the White House. The diamonds have been collected. Excellent. Gentlemen, on the whole, I think this situation merits a toast. Ah. I've known many revolutionaries, Mr. Korf but their scope was childlike compared to yours. Unfortunately, the scope of most men is childlike. This is why in the aftermath of the explosion, the takeover must be absolute. Gentlemen, my friends, to the future and our possession of it. Well, I don't see any mines around here. Well, it'll be around here somewhere. Doctor? I'll be all right. Jack, look! He better be able to make it. Pops is the only one that can disarm it. And I'm not in the market for a halo yet. I will disarm it. Well, hold it! Well, why don't the people that planted that bomb have any guards around here? Not that it's a job with the future, but you got a point there, Candy Cane. They must have pulled them out. You know, I bet you that thing's ready to blow any minute. Come on, let's get out of here. Jack! On second thought, you guys head for the shaft. They can't get you in there. Come on, Doctor. Nice shooting, Tulip. For a minute there, I thought I was going to be an access road. Bobby! Bobby, did you call the defense department? We're running out of time. Looks like the cavalry took a wrong turn. We better get moving. I want to blow this place without being part of it. Okay. Maybe one of us should wait for help, huh? Suit yourself. Personally, I ain't gonna let the bomb go off. I'm allergic to mushrooms. Stop right there. I don't think you'll do anything at all. Bobby, what are you doing? Let me translate for you, sweet cakes. The man you're looking at ain't the man you're looking at. How could you? When's the last time you met a rich editor? I guess there's a first time for everything. Please, we have no time. Thousands of people will be killed. You just wouldn't listen. I tried to warn you, but you're just like your brother was. You... You killed him? Alan loved you when you ran him down! He would have blown a fortune by breaking that conspiracy story. Yeah, a fortune you could have squeezed out of somebody that wanted that story kept quiet. You know, the king of hit and run here drives a hard bargain. Susan, I did what I could. You gotta believe that. I tried. Oh, you tried. You tried to reason with him, but he wouldn't listen, right? And when I found the names in that address book, you tried to reason with me, too. 
Yeah, like you tried to reason with me and that warehouse manager. You know, Goldilocks, this man's a regular guardian angel. Do you realize what you're doing? Yeah, Polly, if you think the world's gonna let that bomb go off, you're insane. The world has very little to say about it, Susan. The bomb's been set to go off at 2.30, whether the diamonds arrive or not. Diamonds? Yeah. Yeah, diamonds are a blackmailer's best friend. We've run out of things to say. Now get inside. Bobby, wait. You know, you could still help us. You could change your mind. I gave it the odds. Now get in there. Let's move it. Can Susan, Jack, and Nikolai escape burial in an earthen tomb? Will Bob emerge with untold wealth at the sacrifice of countless lives? the future hold if the leaders of the world are truly doomed? All the answers lie in Chapter 12, Crypt of Disaster, the final chapter of Stop Susan Williams. Tomorrow night, see real people as it visits with the only full-time vampire hunter in the U.S. Followed by Dick Clark's Academy of Country Music Awards with Roy Clark, Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, and many, many more top country music stars. Thursday, it's the castaways on Gilligan's Island. See your favorite cast of kooky characters turn their desert island into a tropical resort. All on NBC.